Hi, John, Field Systems Research. Many fly fishermen are getting uh, acquainted with our new strike indicators, which are attached with the depth screw, patented depth screw attachment system, which is a screw with a slit in it that you place the line through. And then you put the nut on, and it affixes the indicator very snugly to the line. It doesn't kink the line and it doesn't move unless you want it to which is simply done by loosening the nut a half a turn and pulling it wherever you'd like on the line and tightening it back up. So this is the trapped indicator, trapped air indicator type uh, which will be hitting the markets here very soon through idle wild flies. But what I wanted to show you was our new balloon version for those of you who like to use <coughs> balloons as your strike indicator. We've come up with a new system that utilizes our attachment mechanism. Um, in the package you will have three uh, balloon indicators and three or four replacement balloons. Each uh, unit looks like this, which is basically a valved post, which is used to trap the air plus um, attach it to your line, and then a custom fitted balloon that goes on the post. So the first thing you do um, is load the balloon on the post by simply slipping it over the nose and then rolling it up and over the retention notch like that. You would then stretch it a couple times, remove the cap which also is the uh, slotted screw to attach it and then blow it up to your desired size. So for instance, uh, pretty normal sized indicator right there if you want more obviously put more air in it and you can have a bigger sized indicator. Uh, if you want to shrink it just look for something on the beach or maybe uh, your hemostat and stick it inside to release the air from the valve like so. So for instance if you want a small indicator there you have it. Uh, attaches to the line the same way. In this case put the line through the slit in the, in the screw and then fasten the indicator onto the line by screwing it on like so. And then of course just like the other indicator if you want to move it on your line just loosen it, slide it, tighten it back down. Let's say you wanted to have a bigger indicator, pull it off Puff some more air in, screw it back on, and you're ready to go. Voila.